Open forum, Karen Hawks. I'm Karen Hawks, and thanks for taking my question. Um, I would like to know about the new um, building that's going on. Is there going to be any um, eminent domain on Railroad Ave where some of the residents will be taken? Some of the homes on Railroad Ave? No, uh, we've acquired the property that we will be utilizing for the uh, parking facility. One has been removed, the other two should be removed before the end of the month. We will not be, uh, we, we've acquired all the property that we need for the parking facility. And is that going to be a parking garage or is it going to be a paved area? It will be a parking garage. Okay. All right, and I went and read all the 204 pages last night in the downtown plan, and I noticed there was a group called the Downtown Loveland Inc. Focus Group, and I'm wondering who sets that up, and will this be a cross-section of Loveland residents who can view the finished blueprints before construction starts? And will there be any opportunity to vote on any of the upcoming construction? I can address part of that. No. So the first part on Downtown Loveland, Inc., which, what you might be referring to is a, uh, one of a series of proposals of the um, uh, consultants that we worked with um, that the city consider creating um, a body specifically designed to help coordinate activities uh, in downtown they called it for as a placeholder downtown Loveland Inc. That body doesn't exist. It's it's among the series of proposals which, over the next year to four years, um, this council and other some of the merchants and so forth may address and may consider. But it's that body does not exist at this point. The second set of questions is unrelated to that part of the question. So, Kathy, if you want to address that. Well, I would just say with regard to the plan, there, there is certainly a plan to have more than one public hearing to get public input from residents as to um, what residents think about the various options for this garage, but, but residents will not be voting on it. That's the job of council to make that decision. Okay, I guess you answered my questions. I'm trying to think if I have anything else to say. Why are we not allowed to vote on the parking garage? Well, you, you vote on your elected officials, and those are the decisions that, that we've been elected to make. I think that's a valid question, because a lot of people are unhappy with the current plan, or they don't know of it. It seems like. I just recently found out that a lot of this information is posted on the downtown Loveland government page, but I don't think a lot of the people in the community see what's going on. Like, I think they need, I don't know, put it in the local newspaper or send out. I talked to a realtor. I don't know if this is correct or not, but he told me that before you start a big building project, that the residents in that area should have written notification of what's going to happen before it does. I don't know if that's true or not, but I live right here on Railroad Ave. I never got notification of anything in this plan. Okay. Do you have any other comments you'd like to make? That's it. All right. Thank you. I would look for, uh, keep checking the website because there will be dates for public hearings and you can certainly make your opinions known then. But is it a done plan now? There is no done plan, but there will be a parking facility on that location. Is the um, plan that is on the Loveland, Ohio site, is that a finished plan? No, we don't have a finished plan. Will we be able to see blueprints and actual pictures of what's yes. going to happen because on that website all you see is a likeness or an image we're not we're not there yet okay. thank you thank you 
The next is review and approval of minutes from the January 28th, 2019 meeting. Are there any corrections?